Hey folks, this is Kobe with KobeRot.com, and tonight we're having another great training session. And so we're going to do something a little different tonight. Normally, I kind of have like a little, you know, a little something in mind. I just go at it and I make y'all watch me. <laughs> and um, you know, I really, really do the presentation or slideshow type presentations. Um, you know, my stuff's normally live, and you, I make you watch me do it. But sometimes I know that that can get a little fast, and uh, I can miss stuff. So what I decided to do tonight is I'm going to work off of your questions. So what we did before we got started is I had everyone put in any questions they had about list building with PLR, uh, you know, or list building related or PLR related. Pretty much, the, you know, our topic tonight, our theme is list building with PLR. But of course, we're going to get some questions that are going to be more towards list building and some more with, towards PLR. But that, either way, uh, that's what we did and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to look at the questions now. And I'm going to start at the top, and we'll just uh, we'll go through that way. So as you get more questions, feel free to put them in. And uh, we've got an hour, so I'll do my best to cover all of them as quickly and as thoroughly as possible. And for everyone that makes it to the end, I have um, a surprise that I'm going to give you, or I guess not a surprise, I just told you, so it would be a, just a prize. How about that? Um, it's actually a PLR video that I'm going to give you. So, ah. Randy joined us just in time. Hey, he says hi, Kobe. Awesome, awesome. So we got a good group, and we got everyone here just in time. All right, let me start the top and look at these questions. It'll be just a second here. Okay, Kelvin's, Kelvin asked, do you use articles as well as books? Yes, uh, I do use articles both to give away and to repurpose into other products. Uh, in fact, articles are kind of, uh, I'm glad you asked that because articles are kind of getting looked past because you know, a lot of us don't even ever think about it, and I, I'm personally myself don't ever think about articles whenever it comes time to create a new product or something. But I have used articles quite a bit as blog content and as, you know, for PDFs and to post on uh, the article directories like we've covered in other training sessions. Uh, but articles are awesome, and I actually just happen to be on, on one guy's list, Daniel Flower, and I, I, I buy all his PLR packs. But it's really kind of hard to find a good, you know, PLR producer or someone who does stuff like that because when he does sell them, he only sells them in like package of like 25 or 50, even though they're relatively, you know, low low cost. I know I had to buy them right away, and I always do, even if I don't uh, use them for for several months. And but the point is, though, you can find uh, tons of PLR articles everywhere. I mean, we've all seen, you know, the 7,000 PLR articles, and you know what? Sometimes that seems daunting. But you, if you dig through some of those, you can actually find some cool stuff and some niches you may have never thought about that are actually gold. And that's cool if you have the time to go through and stuff. You can take you can take five or six uh, PLR articles, and you can turn that into a short report. Make your own e-cover, boom, or have one made, and you're set. And you got a product, and you're ready to go. So you know to give away to build your list. Okay, I think that covers that question. The next one was from Carrie. She said. Where's the best place to find PLR? I see, I see tons of the same stuff everywhere I go. Uh, things released on WF that are in every PLR side around. So that's a good question. And um, I think that one may be better answered at the end of the video. <laughs> but it is hard to find a good place to find PLR. And that's, uh, you just have to find a membership site that you like or a person that you like that does like a monthly thing like Daniel does. Or, uh, you know, and and it is hard to find good stuff. It really is. And you kind of have to pay for it. And you can find good stuff for free, but you just got to put more work into it to make it a better product. Uh, and the, the Warrior Forum is a great place to find them, but you have to the, – the key is to look for – you have to look for certain types of PLR because uh, at the Warrior Forum, sometimes, like you said, a lot of the uh, stuff that's released there will end up in a lot of the PLR sites. So look at the, um, at the license before you buy that WSO. And look at the license and see if it says that it, it can be put up in membership sites, stuff like that. I usually won't buy it. I won't buy it because I know it's either going to show up in one of the places that I am a member of or it's going to be totally just saturated. Now, you know, you can do anything with any PLR product and make it better. So the, the question is really just more uh, – it's hard. I can't really answer that in, 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 one, in one sentence. You just have to look around, and you'll find a place that you like and that you stick with. But the Warrior Forum is a great place to start. Most of the people that I've found, like Daniel and Liz Tommy's another person I buy all of her PLR 
Um, I found them people through the through the Warrior Forum. So that's a great place to start. Just when you're looking at them, look and see if it's if there's restrictions. I always I always try to buy. Uh, the thing that's cool about Liz is I always buy her PLR straight from the Warrior Forum because I do this for two reasons. She has her license set up in a way that it can be added to membership sites, but it can't be. Uh, the PLR can't be given away, so they can only give like the the, the master resale rights to it or the personal use rights to it. So if they put it to in a paid membership site, they can only have the MRR. And you know what? That doesn't bother me because I'm going to change it. <laughs> Mine's not going to look like that anyways. So that's awesome to me. That 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 I like that because then that means that there's even more, uh, you know, people out there who they probably won't even use it because a lot of people will find these in in the, uh, those PLR sites, no use MRR as like an upsell or something. So, you know, that's, that's fine with me because, like I said, my product isn't going to look like that when I'm done. So uh, look for the license before you buy it, and you'll find people that you like. Like I said, Liz Tomey and is, a great, is a great one to follow, and Daniel Flower is a great one to follow for articles. And that's a good, I mean, those are two that I buy from. Don't get too many people in your, that you buy from because then you'll just end up buying all the time. Like lately, Liz has been releasing a lot of PLR packs like every third day, and I've been spending too much money. <laughs> I can't keep up. Okay, next question. Let's see. Kelvin says, how do you find topics to work on? Obviously, you want to be pertinent to what people are interested in. Um, Kelvin, uh, an easy, easy way to find to – find Oh, my parakeet is having a fit in the background. I hope you can't hear that. Anyways, um, a great way to find problem or to – I'm sorry. I'm stuttering. Let me start over. <laughs> Think about a problem and see if you can find a solution to it. I went to get my squirt ball out to my parakeet. All right. That's Caesar, everyone. He's saying hello. I think, he wants, I think he's telling me I'm speaking – I'm talking too loud. Okay, uh, let's go to the Warrior Forum. And this is a great place to think about topics because oh, so this is another thing. Once you start getting a lot of posts and a lot of things and people start knowing you, I've got like five or six of these in the last two days. It's ridiculous. That's a review my WSO or be a JV with me. Mail this to your list. Sorry, that's just a rant. <laughs> I don't mean to get off topic. Okay, let's go to the main forum here. And I haven't been here all day, so I don't know what's. I've been super busy days. So I haven't got to make it in here. Which I, I try to stop by the word forum every single day. To I try to. I don't always post every day because sometimes there's not something right on the first page or the second page that I haven't that I want to comment on. Uh, but just look through here, and you can see like let's look and see if we PayPal. I mean, there you go. There's a topic PayPal. Uh, look for threads that have a lot of replies or a lot of reviews or maybe a thread that has – or a subject that has more than one thread on it like uh, a hot topic in, in, in here the last couple of days has been AWeber being blacklisted and going to spam. There's been like four threads about that, and I'm not going to talk about that here now, but it's a pain in the butt. I'm looking at – hey, see, look, this one – this is a – see, <laughs> this one's been up for like four days, so – Anything having to do with autoresponders and avoiding the spam right now would be a great, great uh, product. In fact, you know what? Maybe I should re-release Inbox Intelligence. <laughs> uh, but you can see this is talking about not getting email from AWeber. And this has – this is – actually, we look at the post date. 9-25. Today's the 30th. So this is a five-day-old thread. That is very, very rare for – and I've posted in this thread. Let's go back and look. Crap. It's very rare for – a thread to make it five days. So there you go. Just go and look for for stuff uh, like that. Just look for a hot topic. That's one place to start. Let's see. See me in here. Oh, there's me. There's the real deal. <laughs> anyway, there's currently having tons of issues. Blah blah blah. So there's my little. Oh, I got a thanks. Thanks, Jen, Jen Hurrah. I think I have another post in here. But you get the point. People are bugging about a Weber. So uh, it would be a great time to send an email. Uh, to make a, a smaller report and uh, give it away as a free WPSO, or let me show you something else that's been working for me, and I forgot to mention this with the document sharing sites, and this again is, um, this is a, a list building with PLR tip. This is, uh, if, for any of y'all that saw the fast traffic tactics 
training session, I talked about using document sharing sites and PDFs. And I forgot to mention uh, one place where I come and put my PDFs, the Warrior Forum and the Make Money Online section. You have to be a Warrior, uh, warrior member to post here, but here we go. See, I have this one, you aren't making money online. Free report, no opt-in. It's got 212 views. You can see right here, 212 views, 22 replies. That's really, really hot from this section because this section doesn't get a whole lot of traffic. Uh, I've had it up there for 18 days. It's got 131 views. So, and it's got a lot of people commenting in it too, so. And inside of it, I have links to a squeeze page. I'm probably going too fast, but you'll get the idea. I want to say thank you. So, you can take, uh, you can go, so there you go. I just gave all y'all a great idea, right, uh, to build your list. You can't link to a squeeze page uh, at the Warrior Forum, but look what I've done with this one. You can just put a link inside the report. So, if it's a good report, they're going to opt in. And you might make sales depending on what you send it to. Some of y'all have already seen this report. This PDF. For those of you who haven't, this is all it is. It's a, it's an article that I, I wrote that I posted on my blog. I just jazzed it up a little bit and put it in uh, as a, as a art. I'm tur sorry, turned it into an article, and then I got links right here to my website. This one I need to fix because my blog went down. I haven't fixed it yet, but that was to a squeeze page. This is to uh, a squeeze page, and this is to a viral, what I call a viral squeeze page. That will be a separate training session in itself in the future. And then this is, of course, to my website. So 121 people read this and they looked at it. So it was 121 possible people that could have clicked on my link and bought a product or joined my list. The main thing I was trying to do in this, in this was just give some motivation. And it's really cool, uh, upbeat little report. If you want to go over there and download it, it's free. Or you can go to my blog and read it too. It's on my blog. So. And another cool thing, though, about posting here is not only did 100, well, see, it's already went up now since it was 121. Now, I guess all y'all are going in there and looking at it, but now it's already 131. Um, what you see, what happens is also is, I mean, there's a, been a, what would we say, 222 views whenever we looked on the outside. That means there's 222 people that have had a chance also to look at these links which are squeeze pages, and that's the viral squeeze page. Or these are actually WSO links that lead to a squeeze page. So, all right, I think that got a little off, little bit off topic, but it's a great little nugget for you. So let me get back to the business here and open back up the questions. So I hope that answered your question on how to find topics. Uh, another, another way to find topics is depending on what you're working on at the time. You know, if you plan on, in your case, Kelvin, I know you just released Subscriber Bonanza, so you may be doing stuff that has to do with list building. And so you would uh, find stuff that had to do with list building and so that you could link it to your, your product or to uh, your list that, you know, maybe the product is the OTO or whatever. Uh, Carrie asked, or does it pertain to the fact that it needs to be changed more in order to make it less rec more to make it less recognizable? Yes, I think I already answered that question, Carrie. Uh, I don't really. Uh, it's it's a matter of making it your own. And you bought PLR Surgeon, so uh, you know how to do that. If you follow that that course, then you'll be able to do that pretty easily and without having to spend a lot of resources on uh, money wise. Okay, and Doug, Doug, Doug asked, when you get a PLR product, do you set up a separate domain to sell it, or do you sell from one domain? Uh, Doug, there's a there's a lot of um, a lot of a lot of people will answer that question differently because you can do it both ways. Uh, personally, when I first started, when I first started in internet marketing, uh, I did I didn't have a lot of money to spend, and I'm sure a lot of y'all are in the same boat right now. And so what I would do instead is, let me go and see. Oh, that's my. What I would do instead is I would put them on subdomains. Like here's one. This is an old MRR product. This is one of the first products I ever put online to sell. This was one of the first products I ever made a sale from. This is an MRR product. I'm sure some of y'all have seen this around. I actually had this product up for sale before I ever created my own product. So. Uh, what I did up here, as you can see, the, the address is emaildemon.cobyright.com. So I actually put it as a subdomain. So it actually is on 
my own domain, but it's as a subdomain. You can also do it, a lot of people do it, the, the way Liz Tomey teaches to do it is because it, it actually, it also depends on your, on your affiliate program. If you use something like Pastry, I think it all has to be from the same domain if you want your affiliates to get um, credit on the sales from all of them. So in that case, you may put, you know, it may be like, you could put it as a folder, which I don't have any like that, but let's say, I can show you, I have a squeeze page set up this way, so let's pretend that this is a product. I would have it set up on a, on a folder, or it's also called a directory. Oops, I didn't, I misspelled my own name. This is uh, kobewright.com forward slash blog hyphen cash. And so you can set up a product here as well. So I just have an HTML squeeze page, but same difference. It would be the exact same thing. You can set it the same way. It's just preference. But now that I have a little bit more money to spend in my, within, in my business, what I do is I do now actually set up separate domains for each product. Like here's one, easyamazoncash.com. And this is one that I used a uh, video, PLR video course. It was a really great course, so I just edited it, put my own stuff in there, and did it that way. And added some, my own twists, made my own covers, added more to it, made mod maps. I did all this like I teach to do in my PLR surgeon course. So you can see, uh, but on this, so the name of the product is Easy Amazon Cash. So it's at easyamazoncash.com. Um, my, la my latest product, plrsurgeon.com. Same thing. So now, yes, I do buy a, I do dom a new domain, but it is not necessary whatsoever. As long as it's in the same niche as your main domain, then it's not a problem at all. Like, I could actually I set up a membership site uh, on this as well. I was gonna t I'll talk about that a little bit towards the end. So it's actually set up as a separate product, and that's at plrsurgeon.com uh, forward slash VIP. So you can see this is a blog. If you go to at plrsurgeon.com, it's just an HTML. This is a blog here. This is a, uh, a protected blog, so if you go here and you try to click it and say, hey, no, <laughs> go away, you, you can't be here unless you're supposed to be, you know, so that's what that's telling you, and then it's going to say, hey, okay, here, log in, but so you can see what I did there, and I can set up even more products if I wanted to, like say I wanted to do, um, maybe I wanted to do something else with PLR Surgeon, maybe I wanted to like turn PLR Surgeon into a brand, I could, so then I could start selling like, um, PLR packs, and so what I could do is then I could set up uh, each one of my PLR packs as a subdomain or as a, a directory, which is a fancy word for a folder, and so it, it, it's, it, it's preference really, it's whatever you want to do and, and what you plan to do with the site, so I hope that answers that question, and let me get back to my list of questions over here. Uh, Doug also asked, what's your primary method to drive traffic to your PLR product? My primary method is my list. And I know that's kind of a cop-out, I mean, a, a kind of a, a flake, flaky answer because, you're like, well, if I had a list, then it wouldn't be a problem. I'm trying to build a list, right? Um, so there is more to it than that. As far as traffic, what I try to do is, first thing I always do is I always, as soon as the product is done, is I bookmark it. And that was something I covered in Fast Traffic Tactics uh, training. Um, but I go and I bookmark it, and I do stuff like that just, you know, to, to get it traffic. But another thing that you can use for traffic is you can use uh, Facebook. You can use, uh, you can put it as your signature at the Warrior Forum or any other forum that you're in. If you're in a different niche, you can put it as your signature in a niche. Uh, but if you're trying to get traffic from Google is kind of pointless, but because you, you're pretty much going to rank first for your product anyway after you do some bookmarking. I mean, if someone searches in, types in Easy Amazon Cash, I really don't see anything else. Well, actually, I take that back. Let's go and look before I put my foot in my mouth. But uh, so you're not gonna get a ton of traffic from SEO. Let's see what. And it actually comes up number one. I'm surprised since that's kind of a uh, a broad term, but I don't know how many searches that gets. You can see that's me. Uh, so anyways, I don't make any sales from Google as far as I know. Otherwise, if people were searching for that a lot, I'd be making a ton of sales every day <laughs> for that product, and I don't, uh, unfortunately. So 
my main uh, traffic strategy is, is list building. But of course, you can use, uh, like I said, Facebook, uh, forum marketing, article marketing, social book marketing, using the PDFs, like I said, like that PDF that I just showed you at the Warrior Forum. You can also submit that to a bunch of document sharing sites. So that's trap. Let's go look and see. I hope that answers that question. Go back to the questions here. Uh, now Caesar's trying to. Ch now Caesar, the parakeet, over there chirping, trying to sound pretty, that's squawking. Okay, so as for list building, what would you tell someone starting with a zero list at all on how to begin to gather a list? Uh, Carrie. Exactly what I just talked mentioned with the uh, using the PDF and stuff, and of course using the VIP Ninja mini giveaway tactic. Uh, and to be honest with you, how I got my first thousand subscribers was through solo ads. So I actually paid to get my first thousand subscribers, and uh, in, but not everyone can pay to buy their first thousand subscribers. And I did that because I went months and only had a very very small list, like of like a hundred or something. So. Uh, uh, I knew that that was the fastest way to do it, and then I could start ad swapping. And you can use just those two tactics alone to build a good business. But what I would say to do is, since that's not really an option, I'll give you a little tip to get free solo ads. What you do is you're probably on 5, 10, 15, maybe more people's list. Right? I know that I unsub from a lot of lists, and I'm on like 10, 10 or more. So. You know, all you do is send an email back and say, hey, I'm on your list, and I've been on your list for a while, and I like what you teach, and I'm starting to uh, take some of your advice and build a list, uh, except I don't have a lot of money to invest. I'm wondering if there's anything that I could do for you uh, and trade in a, uh, to get a solo to your list. For example, I, I can do graphics. I can do art article. Uh, I can write articles for you. Uh, Whatever skill that you have, you, maybe you're good at making videos, you know, maybe you're, you know, you're good at writing articles. If you can write, you know, then hey, you can probably send them a couple of articles and get, you know, a couple hundred clicks and get, you know, maybe get your first hundred people on your list. It's just a matter of stepping out and uh, be outside your comfort zone and just asking. You can go to the Warrior Forum and see people that are selling solo ads and say, hey, you know, what can I do to uh, for you in order to you know, I can't afford to buy a solo from you, but I would love to get one from your list. Here's the stuff I'm good at. You know, can I trade some? Can I trade work for 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 a solo? And a lot of people will be willing to do that because we all have stuff that we need done that we just don't have time for. So I hope that's a good. Uh, I hope that answers that question rather briefly, but as best I can. And Robert says, is there any is there any way is there a way to do this without money? There is, Robert. It's a lot harder, of course, when, when there's not money, but it's not impossible. You just have to. You can you can Google PLR and you'll find as much free PLR as you want to as you want to deal with. You can go to you can, so it's not hard to find PLR. It may not be that great, but if you have there's, there's basically with, with when starting a business, you have to invest one of two things, either time or money. If you have the money, then you can save time. If you don't have money, well, then you can only thing that you can use is your own time, and so that you know that's how I had to start my business. So I mean, it took me months before I could even afford to get the solo ads, and I eventually had to save and save and save to be able to do that from my regular job, and that's just something that we have to do, and it, it sucks. But if you don't have money, yes, there's there's ways to do it. It's not impossible. Some people may tell you it is. Some people say it's not. It's harder. It's not impossible. You can. Oh, excuse me, I'm about to cough. Sorry, let me get a drink of water or Pepsi rather. Um, we got some more people just joined us. Awesome, we're only about halfway through, uh, so you didn't miss too much. I am recording this, so you, there may be a replay available. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it. Uh, what we're doing tonight is we're answering questions. So any questions you have related to list building or PLR, put them in the box, and I'm covering them as we go along. And let's see. So back to Robert's question about doing it without money. There is. You're just going to have to uh, buckle down. And if you get on my website and go to koberoute.com slash video tutorials, that's a great place to start. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, free, con lot of free good content on my blog.
So I'm going to do CodeRoute.com video dash tutorials. And that's a great place to start. I usually, in webinars, I give replays most of the time. So that's another place to start. And just watch, you know, uh, and just try to learn as much as you can without having to buy it. It'll be harder because you have to find a little bit here, a little bit there, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. Like, you know, you, you may be stuck with how to how to use a giveaway bench. We can come and check my, my video out here. But, you know, you can't get a whole list building course from my blog. But you can learn a little bit here, a little bit there. So it'll be harder for you to find the information, but you can still do it. And let me put in the, uh, right the I'm going to put in two links right now that aren't available on my blog. And these may be a product soon, so that's why they're not on my blog. These are recent replays. Write this down. Don't go there now. I'm going to write them in there. I think that, that this one... And here's the next one. Sorry for those watching the re who may be watching this. <laughs> okay, uh, replay. Oh, I know what that one is. Okay, that's the website creation uh, re replay and the fast traffic tactics replay. Don't go there now. Just write those links down. And this, actually, the I take that back. That traffic link is not going to work because I took it down. Let me put in a different one for you. Or actually, I'll just fix it after the blog or after the show. How about that? I'll just fix it after the show. So it won't even be good if you go to it now, but I'll fix it after after the, the webinar is over. Write those two down. They'll give you a great, great way to start. That's over four hours of training right there. That'll give you a great place to start on, and, a, and a general idea of how to get traffic and how to build websites. So now let's, can we get back to the questions? I think uh, hopefully that answered that one. And I'm working down the list. I know some of y'all are still adding questions. I, that's awesome. Right. Uh, Doug asked, do you always add an OTO to your PLR products? Not always. But more than often, I do. But, but the main reason I do it is I always offer really high commissions, most often 100% uh, on my products. So I really don't make any money. Uh, so oftentimes, I'll put an OTO and still give the affiliates maybe 50% or even more. I've even given them more than that before. So and to make a l at least you know a little bit of money on the deal. But I don't always do an OTO. But sometimes I do. It, it depends on the product that I'm selling. Like if I'm selling, say, a $7 product, then it's more than likely going to have a one-time offer and, or an upsell of some sort. If it's like a $97 product, you know, there's not a whole lot of upsells. Or, you know, I'm, only upsell that might be like to, a, you know, a coaching for like six, 500 or something, but it depends on the product. So it, I don't always do it. No, it's not a standard rule. Now, when I'm building a list, 99% of the time I'm going to have an OTO behind it. I don't own every single one of mine, but nearly all of them do. Uh, Aaron D. asked, Kobe, what makes your squeeze page convert so well? Well, let's go back and look at the one that I was just showing. And uh, that's a great question. And I just, I actually just did a product on that. that I think I'm going to be releasing Tuesday. I haven't decided. But nonetheless, let's go a shameless plug. <laughs> uh, one reason I think my squeeze pages convert so well is because I keep them really, really plain, but at the same time, really, really targeted. I mean, there's not a whole lot more to say from this because if they read this headline, if they're not interested in blogging, then they're not going to opt in. But more than likely, if they got to this page, then they're already, then they're, they're interested in blogging by some, you know, so, because they're either an ad swap or a solo ad in which it probably mentioned blogging, at the very least, you know, like a free gift or something. So, and I also, I very, very rarely will ask for the first name because by not asking for the first name, I found that I was able to increase my uh, opt-ins by as much as 15% or more. That's 15, one, five. Um, in most cases, it was only 8 to 9%, but uh, in, some, in some places, it was over 15 
So that, that's one thing that I do. Another little tip is on the button here is I have here get instant access. I also do similar stuff, anything similar to this. I always change it from don't have it as join now or or even join now is uh, better than don't leave it as subscribe or submit. Those are the two worst ones. Join now is a little bit better, but at the same time, I always have to get Guinness and access or yes, I want this or whatever. And then another tip that I do is I don't put very rarely what I put under here. Maybe if I'm using something that makes me do it, very rarely will I put something under here that says um, I won't spam you or any of that stuff. I don't put that on there. Instead of having a negative, what I do is I put a positive statement here, which is blog your way to success. Get started now. Instead of having it say, um, I want to sell your email or this or that, I don't want to give them any negatives. That's kind of like a negative reminder of, oh, yeah, you know what? He could sell my email address. He could be sp he could start spamming me. You know, I don't want that uh, in their head. And then, again, just another reminder at the bottom, hey, start blogging for cash today. And that's it. And I got a picture over here. This is a really good-looking e-cover. This is actually an MRR product. Uh, very rarely do I use MRR products as giveaways, but this one I just loved the, uh, or it was a PLR, excuse me. I had the PLR to this product, but I didn't make a new e-cover because I just loved that e that e-cover. So that's why uh, I left that because it's a really awesome looking one. And uh, it's kind of more hoppy than I normally do because it's got the dollars falling everywhere, you know, but it's really cool and it, and it fits in perfect with the uh, earn a full-time income by blogging and fire your boss, you know. So if they, the that's, 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 that's my tip. Is just keep it plain, keep it simple, <clears throat> keep it as uh, easy as possible for them to subscribe. Let me go back to the questions. I hope that answers that, Erindy. Kelvin said, Resale Rots Weekly paid membership has a ton of PLR articles and ebooks. Yeah, there's a ton of membership sites. Uh, PLR Assassin, uh, I, have a PL I have a PLR membership that I just opened. Uh, Erindy asked, PLR ebook or PLR software, which one is better for conversion for a giveaway event and squeeze page? Software is always going to convert higher than an ebook. Software always converts higher. So, anytime you can you can use software or videos, use that over uh, an ebook or software with an ebook or an ebook with a video. Yes, software is always. I always try to use software. In fact, a lot of my uh, a lot of my giveaways are software of some sort. Kellen asks, is it worth paying the forty dollars for WSO when you're giving when you're giving away your is it worth paying the forty dollars for WSO when you're? I think I think when you're giving your WSO away, is it worth doing a free WSO? In my opinion, it is. Let me go and show you why I think that. Oops. So I was looking at this today, and I've bumped this. I've spent about eighty dollars on this, maybe one hundred twenty. But I've, nearly every time I make at least my money back with this particular offer, I actually seem to make a, quite a bit more. So let me log in here. I'm going to show you the tracking code. Hopefully it don't go away. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Sorry if that's kind of like a blur as I'm trying to go through this really fast to find it. Is that it? Nope. There it is. Okay, uh, I've gotten 400, almost 400 clicks. It's converted, and so I've got 200 opt-ins. I've paid about $120. I spent about $120 on, on uh, this WSO because I paid $40 to submit it, and then I've bumped it twice or so. So at that, at just that alone, I'm getting almost a dollar. I'm getting uh, uh, less than a dollar per lead. Which anytime I can get someone on my list for less than a dollar, I think that is a good deal. And another cool thing is it's going to get continuous traffic, even if you don't, even if you don't uh, bump it, because the Warrior Forum shows up in a lot of search engines. It's a very, very authority site. 
And it's also cool. It's also a good backlink as well. So, but on this particular one, I think a lot of y'all have seen this. Let me show you what this is. It's free list building video training, I think. Or free list building training video. Dot com. Maybe that's it. Yeah, there it is. Cool. This is one video of autoresponder magic. And you can see it's just blah, blah, blah. It's pretty simple, just like the last one. You saw I was converting at 50.88%. And I've gone back and forth between using a double opt-in and single opt-in. When I had a double opt-in, it was converting at about uh, 40%. So I, I changed it recently back to single opt-in, and so that's why it's, it's went up. And then after they opt-in, they go here. And so this is what they get after they opt-in. This is my one-time offer, so to speak, but it's actually just a 28-minute video and then links to the rest of the autoresponder magic video course and it and I can normally I'll normally get 50 or I normally get about 50 or so uh, 50 or more opt-ins and then I'll make three or four sales which this product selling for eleven dollars at the moment it'll be more in the future so I mean that right there makes my money back and then out of that someone will nearly always buy the one-time offer which is seventeen dollars so you know if you're doing the math I'm already in the black and so not only do I get to have 50 or more subscribers I get to also make some money. I hope that answers that question, Kelvin. To me, it is worth it to uh, pay for a free WSO. Rachel said, do you have any way to track that? Um, I'm not sure what you're asking. Do you mean, do I have any way to track SEO traffic? You can use Google Analytics. Um, for me, I'm tracking the Warrior, my Warrior Forum special offer using click tracks because I can, I can track the conversions. Clicks track with an X and a C at the end. And Aaron D asks, quantity or quality PLR is a, is a better conversion? Um, I very rarely do, oh, like, when I'm giving something away, Aaron D, I, barely, I very rarely do the, uh, like the the ten packs or, or or something like that. I very rarely even do more than one product. So for me, I just but I always try to make it my own product and you know a quality product. So in my case, um, I would say quality. But I also know, but I, I but I don't really have anything to test that against because I don't really go for the for the for the you know the 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 quantity amounts. I know that Kelvin uh, has one offer that he gives away ten products that have MRR and PLR and I've seen stats where it was converting as high as, as uh, or converting over 90% at times so uh, that, that's just for your own testing on that one and, and preference I've never really tested the quantity over the quality I've never, I've never tested the quantity I never, I never very rarely do I give away more than one thing and Doug, Doug asked is that better is that for better SEO yes uh, social bookmarking I think is what he was talking about. Uh, social bookmarking does, yeah, social book bookmarking is one way to help you with S, uh, SEO. That's one of my main, uh, but the only thing I really do as far as SEO is concerned is social bookmarking. Carrie, Carrie asked, what is your opinion on traffic exchanges? I hate them. <laughs> I don't use them. Um, in the beginning, when I first started trying to make money online, like several, several years ago, before I ever got serious, I used traffic exchanges and I would sit around them and click, click, click all day. Now, I know some people will argue with me and tell me they work. And so, because some people have, they do work for some people, but for me, they don't work and I stay away from them. And I do not use them for list building whatsoever. And I recommend that you do the same. But if you figure out how to kill it using them in list building, then let me know. Because I'm always open to new ideas, but from what I've been, from the people that that I've talked to, or at least that I see complaining about it, they said that they either got a low amount of opt-ins, and, and that they didn't buy anything. So I don't really, I can't uh, speak on that. Whenever I was doing the traffic exchanges, I was not building a list. I was promoting uh, like an ML, MLM product, I think, at the time. So that was several several years ago. So I can't speak for how they work on, on list building. I just don't like them and I stay away from them. Well, the next question. 
right. Robert said, thank you, thank you, thank you three times. You're very, very welcome. He said, time I have. That's awesome. Um, Rachel, you mentioned uh, Terry Jett. Did you mean that he's killing it with traffic exchanges? Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. Wrong question. Wrong. Got my people mixed up. Um, what are you asking about, Terry? Rachel, I'm sorry. Software with a, software with a video? Yeah, that would be a good one, too. If you could um, – actually, that's funny that you say that, Rachel, because I'm actually – working on a software right now, or I just had one made, that uh, that I had to make a video with to show them how to use it. So yeah, videos go pretty good with, with uh, software. So I think if you are giving away a software, it's definitely, definitely a plus to use a video, to give away a video, show them how to use it. And you can actually work this into your uh, follow-up sequence and get them to, to know, like, and trust you. Uh, and if, you, if they opt in for, um, in my case, I'm working on a site builder software. So if they opt in for, you know, the site building software, well, I'm instantly going to send them an email saying, hey, this is how, uh, this is how you use it. Check this video out. And then the next day I'm going to say, hey, uh, I want to make sure you understood how to use it. Uh, watch this video about how to work your articles in the software or something, you know, stuff like that. And so the, after about the third or fourth video of, of you helping them out and how to use this software and how they can make money with it or save time or whatever the, the case, whatever it does, and they're going to lock you, and they're going to uh, open the rest of your emails. And you know, and if you try to sell them something, they're more than likely to uh, get it. Oh, I didn't know that Terry Jett uh, had PLR, Rachel. In fact, uh, he buys a lot of my stuff, so I need to uh, look into that and buy some of his stuff. <laughs> and uh, Robert said, I have a domain through GoDaddy. Do I need a hosting site? Yes, sir, you do. You need hosting. I use and recommend HostGator. I'll put the link in to them now. It's kobewright.com slash hostgator. And a little tip with hostgator, Robert, when you go uh, on, on their checkout, put in the code 404page. I'm putting that in right now, 404page as the coupon. And you'll get your first month for a penny if you use the baby the baby crock package, which is what I use, and I host over 80 sites on it, so it works perfect. At copyright.com, coupon code 404 page. Now we'll get your first month for a penny, and it's 995 a month after that, which is um, awesome. Uh, HostGator is, man, their, their, their customer support is, is amazing, and my site has never been down for more than 30 minutes. And uh, recently, uh, I deleted my blog on accident, and they were able to restore it for me. It took about a day and a half, but that was my own fault. That wasn't theirs. Cool. Uh, I'll give I'll give Terry a. Uh, uh, Rachel said probably not his. LOL. HTTP. Uh, it's www.jetdigitals.com. We'll give him a shout out because he's bought my stuff, so that's the least I can do. <laughs> Robert said, "Sweet, awesome." Um, Erin D asked about a website. I haven't been to that website, Erin D, but it looks like a, um, I think it's a traffic exchange. From looking at the, uh, from looking at the URL, I wouldn't use it. I'm not going to say it just in, just to. I don't want to offend anyone. But as I said, hey Kobe, I ordered this, and when I went back, I got a message that the link had expired. Oh, that is uh, get DPD. I will. Uh, let me put my. I'm gonna put my email in here, Vanessa. And if you will just send me a little message with, so I have your email address, I'll uh, add you. I actually have it set up on a membership site now so that you can access it all the time. I'll uh, add you, I'll give you, oh, spit out my words. I will send, I will send it. I will send you, the, I will add, add, manually add you and send you the login details. Because DPD has a time uh, limit on the download. Cool. Well, we're getting uh, we're getting close to our one hour mark. Um, I think I did a pretty decent job. I'm a little bossed <laughs> on answering all your questions. I don't want to leave one in the anyone in the dark. If I breezed over any questions uh, too fast, or if I um, didn't answer one thoroughly enough. 
Vanessa, I think there will be a replay. I can't guarantee it, but I think there will be. <laughs> uh, with the last one, I was pretty. I said, "No, no, there won't be a replay," and then I end up sending y'all one anyway. So, <laughs> more than likely, there will be a replay. I can't guarantee how long it'll be available. How about that? And I think a lot of people got mad at that email because I said it'll only be available till Wednesday. Then I'm putting it in my uh, VIP coaching. And then I got a lot of unsubs on that email. I think that might have made a couple of people mad. <laughs> I got like 10 unsubs. That was kind of weird. That was kind of funny. Terry said, uh, you did awesome. Thank you for all the info. I never thought about the bartering angle for solos. Great stuff. Yes, yes. It'll work. It'll work. It'll work. Uh, excuse me. It will work very, very good. This side, uh, I am using, um, I'm using a, a child theme for the 211. It's uh, actually called Acme. And I think you can get it at acmetheme.com. I'm not sure if it is available yet. I bought it as a WSO, and then I bought the developer's license for it as well because uh, I build Amazon sites for people, and I use this theme. But it was I got it really cheap as a, as a WSO. I think it's like 15 bucks or something now. Kevin said, uh, thanks, Kobe. Great info. Awesome. Cool, cool. Uh, all right. So. I got two things to share with y'all tonight. Oh, uh, the the first one is for those who have not yet bought PLR Surgeon, and the second one is for those who have because I didn't offer this when I first offered PLR Surgeon, and I just off and I just did this on Tuesday. So for everyone who does not yet have PLR Surgeon, uh oh, you know what? I do not have bread. I have this available as a WSO now. You can get PLR Surgeon is 16 videos showing you step by step everything that I do when I take a product and make it a, a new one or a, a PLR product and flip it into a, a good product, a winner, so to speak. And I was not prepared. I told y'all that <laughs> I didn't plan on this one. I uh, wasn't prepared for this. Let's see. Oops, that's not my name. No, that's not me either. So let me grab the link here for this because it's $27 at plrsurgeon.com, but it's a little bit cheaper. It's actually quite a bit cheaper if you get it as a WSO right now. So I'm going to I'm going to copy this link and paste it into the chat and then I'll tell tell you all what's involved with in this and then I will talk about uh the cool thing for those who already have PLR surgeon. And then I'll also give you all that product I promised you. So I'll pop the. There's that. And I'm sorry that it's so long and ugly. Hopefully you can click on it. I'm going to go and create a shorter one right now. Let's do PLRS for PLR surgeon. All right, gokobe.com forward slash PLRS for PLR surgeon is the short link. Oops. Okay, now let me get my salesman on. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's a video here that tells you more about the product on the sales page if you want to check it out. But basically, you can see here the headline says it's 11 bucks. The headline says how to slice and dice crap PLR products into valuable products with the skill of a surgeon using tools anyone can afford. And there is 14 videos, and I uh, cover stuff. Uh, there's an introduction video. I tell you where to find your PLR, how to name it. How to create an e-cover? I actually give you two ways to create an e-cover. Uh, how to edit your Word document? Uh, how to create your PDF? Uh, step five B, which is video seven, is create your video. I'll show you how to create MP3s from your videos. Well, all of this using free software, by the way, <laughs> free software and nearly all free resources. Uh, the only thing that you really have to pay for is maybe spending five dollars at Fiverr to get a uh, to get a um, an e-cover made if you can't do it yourself. 
and so I'll uh, show you how to create a sales page, how to create a squeeze page with HTML and on WordPress, how to create a download page, and how to start promoting your product. That's where I cover bookmarking and stuff like that. And of course, you get all 14 videos. You get the PDF version of the course, which is actually more thorough than the videos itself. This is not a transcription. This is actually, I wrote this down. I actually cover stuff in the, P, in the uh, PDF. I don't even talk about in the videos. You get a mind map so you can follow along as well. And of course, all the templates that I make in the video, the download page, the sales page, and the squeeze page and stuff, you get all that. Like I said, it's 11 bucks right now. And there's also, there's actually three uh, bonuses I don't even mention on here, which are um, a video course on Composer, four squeeze pages, and then a, a report that you can rebrand and give away with a squeeze page. And that's 11 bucks. The link again is gokobe.com forward slash PLRS. And you can see some of the stuff that other people were saying here if you want. Abel Chua said it, it kicks ass. <laughs> Brian, Arnold, uh, Brian Arnold said it was awesome. He said this product rocks. Um, this person said, I just got your course. All I can say is, wow, I haven't even seen this yet. This is the most complete product creation course I have bought. I would recommend buying this WSO. If you're wanting to know how to create great products and market them, thanks heaps, Kobe. Wow, I didn't even see that uh, testimonial yet. That's awesome. We left that yesterday. Cool. Give him a thanks for that. All right. Now, I got that out of the way. Let me create a short link for this other. For those of you who already have PLR Surgeon, and for those of you who have bought, this is the option after you, after you purchase it. This is the quote-unquote upsell. Uh, for those of you who didn't purchase this as a WSO, I offered it for a little bit cheaper prior to being a WSO. For those of you who bought it then, uh, this is really for you, like Vanessa. And for those of you who may have not purchased the upsell when you bought it as a WSO on Tuesday, uh, VIP slash. Let's go to, this one's going to be PLRS2, uh, the, the number two. PLRS as in PLR, S as in for, as, uh, S for surgeon, 2 as in 2, the number. Cool. And this, uh, now let's talk about this. This is for all those who are saying, Kobe, where do we find good PLR? Well, the best PLR source that I can think of is, well, if I create them for you. So if you'd like me to create, oh, excuse me, I'm about to cough, right in the middle of a sales pitch. That's great, huh? Hang on. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, this is the, uh, the coolest thing I could think to do for y'all is to create a product each month and give you access to it. I'm doing it for super, super cheap. Super, super cheap. 17 bucks. And don't worry uh, if you don't buy this. If you, have, if you didn't buy, if you didn't buy uh, PLR Surgeon and you click this, it's not going to let you through. So <laughs> don't, don't think that you can backdoor this. It's a, it's a membership site. So you're not going to be able to get the to, uh to the product without without purchasing so seeing the upsell doesn't really hurt anything this is seventeen dollars a month and what I'm doing with this is I'm gonna start is I'm gonna have a, a webinar like this each month to where I let you ask me any questions you have related to PLR and I'm gonna answer them like I did tonight and I'm also going to create a product each month and give you PLR routes to it so this isn't gonna be uh, this is this these are most likely gonna be products that I'm creating as WSOs so you're going to be getting my WSOs with PLR rights, and most of these products I'm probably not going to offer PLR anywhere else because very rarely do I offer PLR to my products. In fact, only one product that I've done it so far on, and that's the one that's in this membership, and that's the uh, emergency tra traffic generation course. So um, let's take a look at the membership. You can see this is what you're going to get when you click here, but if you're not logged in, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. So don't think that you can backdoor this. This is not going to be able to be backdoored. And for those who are already a member, don't think that somebody can get in here. Um, so you're not getting uh, – and I see you all putting questions in. I will answer those in just a second. I'm not ignoring you. So I'm going to log in here and show you around the site. This is the uh, – for those of you who um, – and some of you are already are, already bought the, the VIP membership. The first download is to my traffic generation course, which is also selling as a WSO right now. And the public labor rights are, in order for someone to, 
to get the public label rights for that, it would cost them twenty-four dollars. So the, uh, because it's available as an upsell on the course now, or no, it's more than that. It would take them because the product's selling for nine dollars in the front end, and then not seventeen for the upsell. So it would take them what is that, twenty-six dollars or um, crappy at math, twenty-six dollars, yeah, to get the PLR that and. So you get it as part of the uh, as your first month, and it's I can't click on this because that link is not uh, safe. So I can't reveal the URL at the top. Or it's it, it is safe, but it's not as secure as this one. I guess is what I should say. This one you can't backdoor this one at all. They may be able to backdoor that one if they you know some ninja tricks. But uh, so that's the membership, and of course this is all the downloads you get. And there's also I didn't even mention that. Uh, in here, the fast traffic tactic replay will always be available in here. Um, it's not available at that link that I said because I cut it off from my list like I told them I was going to do. I'll reactivate that for three more days for those that are watching. Um, and then James Saez, for those of you who don't know him, he uh, does a lot of WSOs. He's got WSO of the Day twice. He had Tube Spa. Some of you all may have known that one. That was his, his recent WSO of the Day. He actually put a bonus in here for you all. It's how he built a, a bar, how he increased his bar list by 2,000 people in 60 days without launching a product. It's a really awesome PDF. Uh, gives you a great technique. And then there's also a forum as well as part of the membership. So I uh, hope that, and uh, this is going to be selling for $47 whenever I close the WSO in two more weeks. And I had S member on here originally, and I had to switch it to another plugin because it didn't integrate with uh, PayPal. I'm sorry, with W Warrior Warrior Plus. So I haven't fixed this yet, but I will. So it's, this isn't going to be uh, available forever. Now let me look at the questions, and did, and let me put the second link in here if I didn't already. Did I? I didn't even put the other one. Okay, here's the link. There's the short link to the front end product, the video course. For those of you who already have PLR Surgeon, here's the, the link for the upsell. Cool, cool. All right. Oh, I just closed the question. Let me go back and look. Sorry. And all right. Let me pull them out here. Okay, whoa, great. Oh, man, I missed a lot of stuff. Back up here. <laughs> uh, Kelvin said, PLR Surgeon is fantastic information in capital letters. Thank you very much, Kelvin. Carrie, Carrie said, tell them I bought PLR Surgeon and as a beginner found it to be the most helpful WSO I've purchased on how to use PLR and re repurpose it into your own product. Awesome, awesome, awesome testimonial. Thank you, Carrie. She said, uh, using it now to work on my own products. That's awesome, awesome. I'm glad you're taking action. Yeah, $11 is a drop in the bucket. If you take action on that, you'll make much more than that back from your first PLR product. Or you can launch it as a free WSO and build your list. Uh, Robert asked, can you start slow with this, and then can you get specialized in one product? Yes. Uh, in fact, uh, with PLR Surgeon, the video course, it's, a, it's at a lot slower pace than, a, than, a, than like I went through tonight. And uh, it's very, very... I figured out I figured out why old people and newbies love me so much is because I talk so slow. <laughs> uh, um, I realized lately that um, a lot of of those of you on my list are uh, older or older than me, which is not a bad thing at all. I don't, I'm not judging you at all. I'm not, I don't mean that to sound the wrong way. Uh, I think that's awesome because uh, I think that that's the kind of crowd that can't put up with most normal internet marketers, and I think that's awesome that I fit into that niche. And I think it. I figured it out is because I talk slower, so it's easier to follow. <laughs> and you can definitely start slow, and and because that's what I did, Robert. I started slow. My first product that ever took me to create took me a month to create, and it was horrible. Of course, I didn't have anything to guide me along. I was doing it by trial and error, and you know, and then if I I got to where I could do one in two weeks. Whenever I did a, a emergency, uh, the traffic generation course, it took me about two weeks or so to do it, or three weeks to complete it. But now. I can crank out uh, a product in a weekend using the the techniques on that I, and PLR surgeon. Now I have a, a system down. I can and uh, I follow that mind map to a T. That's the exact same one that I do. So I mean, it's it's no holds barred. It's not one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, this is what I do. Well, you know, 
<laughs> and and then I'm telling you some of the story, but not all the story. And, and Rachel said it'll be totally original products. Yes, they'll be uh, totally original in that I will be creating them. You will not find them anywhere else unless they bought them from me. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to buy. If I add anything in there that's not original, it'll just be a bonus. It won't be part of the one a month. It'll just be a bonus. Now, Vanessa asks, hey, Kobe, how, how did you add a forum to your membership site? Uh, I used a free plugin called Mingle Forum. You can search it within WordPress. Uh, it's actually an add-on plugin to because Mingle is actually like a social kind of network kind of thing, but I only use the, the forum plugin. But you will get spam attacks if it's not inside of a membership, so be prepared for that. Uh, Kelvin asked, on my way out, Kobe, see you at my webinar. I'll be, uh, we'll see you there shortly, Kelvin. Thanks for showing up. And uh, yes, Carrie, thank you. <laughs> so that comment, I won't read that one out loud. Uh, uh, Vanessa asked, how do you spell mingle offer? I keep forgetting that uh, my accent is terrible. It's Yes, you, you spelled it correctly, M-I-N-G-L-E. One time I was recommending a product that's called Color Pilot, color like C-O-L-O-R and pilot like someone that flies a plane and uh, <laughs> I had got an email from someone who was watching the replay they said Kobe I couldn't understand what you were saying if you were saying color pirate or color parrot <laughs> I was trying to say color pilot <laughs> uh, so I realized there's a language barrier sometimes uh, and now I did tell all of you off did promise everyone a free product um, like I said I, I did I winged it on this one so I'm going to put the link in, write the link down, give me about 15 minutes to upload the product, and then I'll have that uh, uploaded. It's a list building. It's a uh, video about list building. It's not one. It's not mine. It's one that I have the unrestricted PLR to. So you also will have the unrestricted PLR to it, so you can give it away or whatever. So uh, I'm about to stop the recording. So I just want to thank everyone that showed up tonight for everyone that's watching this replay uh, and remind you again that if it's still available you can get PLR Surgeon at either PLRSurgeon.com or if the special offer is still available you can get it at gokobe.com forward slash PLRS as in PLRS for Surgeon. All right, with that being said, uh, this is Kobe from KobeWright.com signing off.